Hi guys, Dave in Texas here, and what you're looking in front of you right now is all the microphones I use for my videos, right? And a Pepsi. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, I also use these for home recording as well, okay? So, let me run through these real quick, and I also have to show you one more that's kind of out of view because it's on a tripod. When I first started doing these videos on YouTube, I used a, uh, a uh, Microsoft uh, USB camera. It has its own built-in microphone, right? which you can't record with it because it's terrible. <laughs> and the picture is okay. It's one of the best USB cameras they make. But still, it's, it's, it's HD, but gosh, it's nowhere near the type of camera I've got I'm working with right now. It's just uh, in a different league. But for a simple USB, it makes a pretty good little camera, right? And it's a second camera as well. So keep that for a second sh video shot. Now, uh, in front of you is a simple, large uh, condenser microphone that I use for uh, you know, other tracks, like third, fourth, fifth tracks, voiceovers, uh, a harmony, whatever I, I want to do, right? So it makes a pretty good, uh, uh, nice little boom mic, right? I can also amp my, oh, I'm sorry, I can also microphone my amps with this by simply just pushing it down, getting in the right position with the amplifier, okay? So that's the type of microphone I use for recording as well as for the uh, videos, right? Another one I use for the videos is a little clip on mic. It's also a little condenser microphone, it has a little on off, right? And just uh, clips to the, the lapel of the person you want to interview, and it goes right into my camera. And it has like a 20-foot little cord that runs with it that uh, makes it much easier uh, to record somebody's voice when there's a lot of noise present. Unless you want that ambient noise to kind of, you know, have a flavor to the recording. Like I do for my, you know, videos on the guitar shows. I like to hear that noise on those. This actually, you know, people moving about and playing and enjoying themselves. Also, when I'm doing interviews, I've used this little microphone. It's another condenser-type microphone. Uh, it's, it's about $20, $30, very simple on off. It also works with my uh, camera, okay? And with uh, other uh, things like my board, right? Now, come to my Yeti microphones that I use mainly in recording, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. These are very special microphones that I picked up uh, when they first came out, okay? This one uh, in particular is on right at the moment. If you can see that light, right? You see that light? flashing on standby and uh, not only are they great microphones they emulate all the other microphones out there like ribbon condenser diaphragm and it's pretty cool because uh, the way it's done is the internal parts of this microphone if you can see this I may have to zoom in on this right here on this little button here so you zoom in Okay, and it's showing the different types of microphones that are available. Stereo, uh, diaphragm, uh, uh, condenser, ribbon, and you simply just switch this knob, right? Sorry, I'm right-handed. And uh, choose whatever you want, right? And it's set up, you can do it with interviews or two people talking or you're singing, as well as the connections on this, or for this one, are USB and... Uh, the uh, regular connectors for your board, okay? This one does it both. This other one, which I'll show you here in a second, the silver one only does uh, USB. You can still get that and, you know, con you can still connect that to your board, but it takes a very special adapter uh, to do it, right, which I have. And uh, can be used on my board as well. But mainly I use this uh, as a backup uh, with the connector uh, to mic my uh, amplifiers, okay? When I want to shoot like that or record like that rather than recording them straight through to the uh, uh, software, right? So, let me show you how this all works. This little gadget here, my board, has these little connectors in it that go with a jack or with a three prong connector. If you can see that, zoom in on that. And it's connected right now, so you can see a little light flash. There you go, right? 
either a guitar jack type of connection or a three prong like I showed you earlier on the other microphone work on this so it's very versatile okay as well as a special connector for the silver US or silver Yeti I've got works as well on this board now let's back up a minute this camera has built-in stereo uh, microphone on it which will work within a, a 10 foot radius very well left or right behind it whatever you know it's, it loses a little bit but not much okay and believe it or not this little board has a stereo built-in microphone all right which are in each corner right here you can see this one right here the other one on the other side right here okay and it's a simple case of flipping a switch on top of the board right? which type of microphone you want the mic built in mic built in built in a mic line a guitar line and uh, also for lines it asks for phantom power okay uh, these microphones these yetis right require power to them they don't work uh, right off uh, by themselves Okay, you don't hook them into a camera and they just work. They have to have power to that, and that camera has to provide that power. And it has to be enough to power these big microphones. Same with uh, uh, hooking them into your laptop. The laptop has to provide power through that circuit, so these microphones will work. And as I said, this one right now is hooked up to my laptop, and you see it uh, lights flashing on mute. Okay, and it too has the same connections on or connect, controls on the back of it as this one does right and also has a gain knob recording okay volume and gain so there's not much more you could possibly use to do what I do okay uh, I've got several other microphones in storage that uh, I don't use anymore well, I'm a broken <laughs> especially the the, the uh, ribbon microphones and condenser or diaphragm I mean uh, I've broken them over the years and things do wear out guys okay it's be aware that uh, these things don't last forever so within a few years uh, you might start checking on new microphones and these are still made these are only a year old each or about two years old each I think the silver one is and uh, they still make these models okay as well as they still make the model for the uh, little vest clip on right and this is like a Radio Shack type or a Walmart type clip-on that you can get for like $20. Uh, this one is just a simple, uh, like I said, uh, um, a condenser type mic that you can get for 20 bucks. This one is a condenser mic for like $60. Okay, this big boom one, right, without the stand. Uh, the Yetis are about 200 bucks a piece. This board with all the controls on it and the connection is about $300 still after being on the market three years. They never lower the price on this because it's so popular. It's R8. Okay. And now, the last of all, <laughs> I've covered my cameras. I've covered external microphones. We also have a microphone in the laptop, uh, which on rare occasions I'll use um, if one of the other microphones is not available, which is very seldom. Okay. But I have had phone or video calls where I've had to rely upon the microphones built into the laptop that to pick up my voice to speak to someone when these other ones are in use somewhere else. Or I've already got them wired in. I don't want to disconnect them when I'm recording, okay? So that, in essence, are the microphones I use. You don't know, need to spend a ton of money. Uh, I think total here on just the microphones themselves is less than $500. Uh, for all of them put together, okay, not the not the stand, not the spit guard, not everything added into it, obviously, but basically, uh, 500 bucks will get you by to home record, to video record, right? Uh, well, that is to video record uh, uh, remotely, right? And uh, it all does a pretty good job so far from what I've been told about my videos and my recordings, okay? So, any questions about these microphones? Uh, what uh, what the, how you can use them where you can get them all kind of stuff what they cost uh, how to uh, uh, how to work on them right give me a holler David Texas have a good one ooh and don't forget to enter my guitar contest and subscribe to my channel and put a comment on that guitar contest video uh, 
so that you'll be entered into the contest, right? We do want to give away that guitar and all those prizes, right? But guys, I've got to get those subs up to make it, uh, you know, justified to give those prizes away, okay? So, remember, sub to my channel, put a comment on the guitar uh, prizes or guitar contest video, and you'll be entered to the, into the contest automatically, okay? Have a good one, David, Texas. Bye.